Hey everyone, it's me, Narada, African Hair God. I am here um, to address a question that I got in my last video um, talking about my client who was getting curly cuts and how it's destroyed her ends. Um, I got a comment from Gardenia in Bloom and she asked me if it was possible if I could provide an example of healthy hair compared to unhealthy hair because when I did the the test on my client here um, who had the damage from the curly cuts she couldn't see what the damage actually looks like she didn't know what to look for so I wanted to show you that example here I thought it was going to take a while for me to get a client to be able to show this on because I don't even really blow out my client's hair like that and it turns out I didn't even have to <laughs> because um, I, my client came in literally the next day, today, and um, I was like, do you mind if I just record your hair so I can show them the difference between healthy hair and damaged hair? And she was like, yeah, go ahead. So I want you to take a good look at um, this client's hair here. This is her hair damaged from curly cuts. Her ends are tore up. They are full of split ends. The ends are not laying smooth. The hair is not laying smooth. Um, there's breakage everywhere. The strands, um, and I'm gonna let you see when I fold the hair here. It's not that we're seeing strands pop up, is that we're seeing strands pop up, they're not laying smooth. And then when they do pop up, there are places at the ends of those strands where it looks tapered, it looks like it's thinning, it looks like it's broken off, it looks like there's splits everywhere. Like you can literally see split ends. It was very hard to demonstrate that in this video, but I think once you see the difference between someone who has healthy hair and has been maintaining healthy hair versus this, you'll be able to see a stark difference between their hair. So what I'm looking for here is like I said, I'm looking at the ends of each of those strands that are popping up and I'm looking to see the quality of it. We just passed the split in right there. I'm looking to see the condition and the quality of all of those ends that are popping up because that'll show and tell you if the hair has broken off prematurely, if the hair has been worn and damaged, if the hair is healthy. What healthy strands look like are full thick ends from root to tip. So that means the end should be the same thickness as the strand all the way throughout. The hair should be controlled. It should be smooth. Um, and it shouldn't be any splits. Splits are literally a fork in the road. And I'm realizing that a lot of people don't know that their hair is damaged because they don't know what damage looks like because for so long, stylists have been promoting damaged hair as healthy hair. And so, and a lot of stylists honestly don't know what damaged hair looks like. It's so many stylists out here that don't even know what a split end really is. It's called split ends for a reason. It's because the ends are split like a fork in the road. And, you know, someone left a comment and asked me to start doing these types of videos with my clients with a white cape so that they can see the split ends better. That's not how you see split ends. That's how you see thinning. And thinning looks different on everybody. And I don't like to do. OK, hold on. Hold that thought. We're going to go through this whole clip here. We're almost at the end. And then you're going to see my client with the healthy hair. So. You see, she has a lot of flicky bits. You can see, oh, you can see that split in right there. You can see it right there. It's popping up. It's look, look, the strand is like worn. It's like broken off. It's thinning. It's beat up. Uh, and I hate to talk about my client's hair like that, but th that's how bad it is. It should not look like this, y'all. Like this is damage. And a lot of y'all are trying to normalize this because that's all you have known. But your end should not look anything like this. So with that being said, um, we're going to move on to my client coming up in the next clip. Um, so my client has been coming to me uh, for about a year, a little less than a year, I would say. And her last cut was in early December. So damn near November, because she said it was December 3rd. She documents every time she comes in and so we haven't cut her hair at all since December 3rd. And prior to that, we were transitioning out her relaxer and we just did one big chop. And ever since then, we've been maintaining her hair. 
So before I get into that, let me go ahead and just show you what that looks like here. So as you can see, I didn't blow out her hair. Even after six months <laughs> of no cut, no maintenance, just literally her coming in, getting her hair styled, we are still maintaining her ends. We can still see that clean cut, which is something I talk about quite a bit. And I know somebody's gonna ask, well, what about the pushback test? You've been doing that a lot. What does that look like on her hair? Let's take a look. Let's take a look. <laughs> what they say? He's just teasing the hair. Everybody's hair is gonna look like that when you pushing the strands, huh? He's just pushing it up. That's what's making it look thin. No, baby. That's that's what damaged hair looks like. When you have healthy hair, you're going to see shorter strands like this because hair goes through a hair growth cycle and it grows back in, so all your strands are not going to reach. But again, the goal is to not have all the strands reach the ends. It's to have the majority of the strands reach the ends and to only have a minimal amount of hair that's being pushed back. So we, we just saw that demonstrated there. Also, the difference you can see here, even with my client in her natural state, my comb can glide all the way through from root to tip. And I was like, let me grab this fine tooth comb so they really know like this ain't a, this ain't a game. This is healthy hair. These are healthy ends. People are like, you can't use a fine tooth comb on forcing hair. You can. You need to know what you're doing. <laughs> and I'm not saying her hair is 4C, whatever. She has the type of hair that has no de definitive curl pattern. If she went to a curly hair specialist, they would deem something being wrong with her hair because her hair has no curl pattern. All of her strands do their own thing. But anyways, not even getting into that because this ain't that type of video. I want to just show y'all the difference. So look at her hair. I'm, I'm doing the same technique here. We still see some flyaways coming up. Not a lot, obviously, because we saw that in the uh, the pushback test that she did not have a lot of flyaways. So we, we can expect for that to not be the case. But we're going to do this again. Let me smooth this out again. I think I'm going to grab this brush to smooth it. And then... I want you to look at the difference with the, the hairs that are popping up against my top finger. Look at the strands. Look at the ends of those strands. Hold on, let me clean it up for you. Look at the ends of those strands. The strands are smooth. Well, shit, hold on. I, I was like, let me thin this section out a little bit or let me see what I do. Cause her, her hair was so healthy, I couldn't even get the, the damn flyaways to pop up. All right, so look at the strands popping up against my top finger. All of the strands are smooth. All of the ends of those strands are healthy. There are no split ends. And I think you see it better with this, this section here. I mean, already you can see the difference. <laughs> you, can, you can literally, it's a stark, difference but i i want y'all to be able to see what i see and understand what it is that you're looking at so again i do appreciate that person for asking that question because i i it kind of didn't cross my mind that you know there would be some people watching that don't know that that's not normal <laughs> for afro hair they just think oh natural hair is just unmanageable forcey hair is just terrible look at the ends full full no splits no splits Thick, even, healthy ends, comb gliding through. I couldn't even get my comb to go through my other client's hair because her ends were so bad. Look at the ends too. Look at these ends, hold up. Let's see the ends, yep, go ahead. Smooth out them ends. Look at that. In its natural state, no split ends. I think I'm gonna lay it against my glove or something. Let me see. Yep, no split ends anywhere. No split ends, all the ends are full thick, no splits, no fraying, no thinning. This is what healthy hair is, people. This is what it is. It didn't take four cuts out the year. It didn't take <laughs> uh, steam treatments. It didn't take deep conditioning. It didn't take any of this. When you're maintaining healthy hair help with health, with hair care in mind, this is what it looks like. This this is the result of nothing but water and hair grease. And yeah, we got a single strand knot right there. But you know what I do with it? I leave it. 
It ain't bothering nobody. It's still reaching the end. It ain't broke off. Leave that damn single strand out there. It ain't, it ain't, it ain't messing with nobody. It ain't bothering you. Yep. All right. Let me go ahead and give a disclaimer because I'm probably about to go off at this point in the video. So if you at work watching, you know, playing it because you thought this was like a, a nice little calm hair video. Nah, I'm, I'm about to go off. So yeah, just that's your warning. Gonna be some some curse words, some f bombs, and everything else. Um. <clears throat> So a lot of people think I just get on here and talk mad shit. Um, I talk mad shit because I can talk mad shit and I got the receipts to back it up. My client with the healthy hair, like I said, her last haircut was the end of November, beginning December. It's now July. We are going into July and she still needs no trim she needs no haircut and you know what we're gonna do i told her today i was like we're probably gonna end up giving your hair a dusting around december so when i when i tell y'all mike i'm trying to get my clients on a one year one time a year schedule for for cutting and that's literally just to maintain health that's exactly what the fuck i mean i talk shit because i can talk shit and i can back it up how the fuck do you go to a stylist who got you coming in four times a year, every three months, and they can't even keep your hair healthier than my client's hair is here? If anything, I expect for your hair to be thicker. I expect for your ends to be healthier. You spending all this money. So yeah, when I'm going off on a, a curly cut stylist, it's because I know that clients are frustrated. They're upset that they've been investing all this time, investing all this money just to find that their hair is fucked up after getting all these cuts, after paying for all these products, all this treatment, and you know what I'm using? $5 hair grease and water. You know how often my client comes in? She comes in every three weeks, but she has separate dermatitis. Oh, yeah, you wouldn't be able to tell that either because uh, I just use medicated shampoo and also medicated hair grease. That's right, hair grease for separate dermatitis. And we've calmed her flaking down so much. She still gets some flaking by the time she reaches three weeks and she comes back in and get, his, get it done again. But that's the only reason she comes in that early. And she, she's been coming in consistently She's been asking me for updates on her hair. And when she first came, she was like, is my hair growing? Is it, is it, is it being healthy? Has anything changed? I'm like, you got to give it some time. Trust me. I got you. Trust me. Just trust me. And I know that's hard to do for someone who's been going from styles to styles, trying to get their hair healthy, trying to get it to grow. You know what? She don't even ask me that no more. You know why? Because the truth don't need no motherfucking proof. She see the shit for herself. She was a little a little uncomfortable after we did that big shop and she went and got some box braids. She ain't got box braids since. She's like, nah, I like wearing my hair. And you know what else? A lot of people were like, well, you all you do is protective styling. So that's why her hair looks like that. Nah, baby. Nah. She was like, you know, I usually get the flat twist, but I think I want to start rocking a wash and go. I think I want to start rocking a, a twist out. I think I want to start rocking cone coils or not even cone coils, finger coils. So she's actually been wearing her hair out pretty much the, this whole year for the majority of this year. And still healthy, hair still healthy, ain't had a single damn treatment. Ain't had no deep conditioning, ain't had no protein, ain't had none of that shit. All she had was some motherfucking water and hair grease. So y'all can sit there and talk shit about hair grease and y'all can talk shit. Oh, he running a demon 50 times through the hair. And my client's hair is healthy. Why the fuck? Why 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 are their clients ain't, ain't at this same level of health or better? Oh, he think he know everything. He think he's superior. He need to humble himself. How about you humble me? How about you and your styles get together? Let her blow out your hair. Let us look at your ends. And how about you have them shut me the fuck up? They can't. 
These stylists hate me because I called them out and they can't do shit about it because they know they can't hold no motherfucking candle to me. I'm calling them out for a reason and a purpose. I'm not calling it out to be spiteful. I'm not calling them out to hurt their business. I'm calling them out to hold them accountable. Because these, these clients are, are, are tired. They're frustrated. They're upset. We've been through this song and dance for motherfucking decades. And this industry continues to go downhill and in the motherfucking trash. The bar is in hell. And you know why it is? It's because that's what y'all allowed it to be. Y'all allowed the bar to be in hell. By sitting there, being complacent, not speaking up, not asking more from your stylist, accepting whatever bullshit comes your way. People are getting tired of that. People are getting tired of pouring all this money into these businesses, into these stylists' hands, just for them to walk out the damn salon with fucked up hair. People are tired. And they don't know how to fight against these professionals. They don't have the tools, they don't have the knowledge, they don't have the know-how to go against these professionals because all these professionals do is throw all this jargon in and throw all these technical terms and talk about hoes, mullets, and, and baby crowns. How are they gonna contest against that? They're the professional. They need somebody like me to speak out for them because the rest of you always ain't doing it. So while you sitting here having all this anger, hostility, and all this rah, rah, rah towards me, have that same energy for these stylists. Because if you notice, none of my clients is complaining. All of my clients keep coming back. All of my clients hair keeps growing thicker and thicker and longer. And even my client today, she was like, yeah, I'm as long as you're here, I'm not going anywhere. Like, I hate that I'm going to have to move at some point and that I'm going to have to find another stylist, but like, I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> and I, I, it's sad that I can't even direct them to another stylist because I know nobody out there is going to be able to do hair to the level that I do it. One time a year, no treatments, water and hair grease, talk all the shit you want to talk, but put your clients here where your mouth is. Because I do it every motherfucking time and y'all can't say shit, but oh, in the other video, her twist was thicker. In the other video, it wasn't the same amount of hair. In the other video, it looked like this. So... All this, and I, I'll say this as well, all the people that are coming out and that are noticing that their stylist has been contributing to the damage of their hair or at least have found out that there has been damage through following their, their stylist recommendations and regimen, instead of getting on the internet and complaining about it, maybe you should actually have a conversation with them. Let them know what's what's been going on with your hair. A lot of these stylists think like they're doing great. Like there's nothing wrong because you're not going to them and you're not telling them what's wrong. You're not holding them accountable. You're not asking the right questions. They don't know. They. This is how you help stylists that you want to support grow. It's not about just, oh, you're great. Oh, your styles are good. Oh, I, you know, you're wonderful. I've taken so much more growth and have evolved so much more from all the harsh criticisms that I got from clients very early on in my business than I ever did from all the positive ones. The positive ones are affirming and they do matter, but it's the ones where they were like, oh, you know, I would appreciate it if you had done this or, you know, he didn't do that or I was concerned about this, but he didn't address these these needs and concerns of mine. He didn't address what I wanted for my hair. Those are the reviews and the criticisms that helped me grow to the stylist that, I'm, that is sitting here in front of you today. If you really are supportive of your, your stylist, or, or you're a fan of their work and, and all of that, hold them accountable. 
help them evolve, help them get better. That's how you be a supporter. It's not about just kissing ass. And I thank y'all for holding me accountable. I thank y'all for challenging me the same way. Yeah, I definitely didn't expect this video to be over 20 minutes, but um, I think I've said all that I wanted to say in this. Um, it's just, I hate that I can't be everywhere at once and I shouldn't have to be because there's stylists every fucking where. They're everywhere. But for some reason, everybody has a hard time finding someone to, to just take care of their hair. That's a problem. Y'all don't think that's a problem? It's just crazy to me that so many people are fighting and contesting against what I'm promoting, which is just healthy hair. Y'all really are fighting to keep going to salons and getting your hair fucked up. If that's what you want, fine. But this this ain't the platform. This ain't the channel for you. Go go promote and advocate for that somewhere else. I'm always going to speak out. And I'm always going to advocate for black women to have a wonderful experience with their hair and a wonderful experience at the salon. So with that being said, thank you all again for watching. And um, until the next video, be blessed. Bye.